I think the first game, how we'd even go into the second leg two or three up was incredible. Um, I think their player, Doyage, should have got sent off in the first leg. He, he done Oli off the ball. So it was a bit of a it was a bit of a mad game really. Uh especially the first leg where they went down ten men early, let us keep the ball. We, we were a team not equipped for that really. We was more of a um roll your sleeves up and have a tear up sort of team. Um so yeah, it was it was strange, but uh, the scenes in the second leg was unbelievable. Like, it's something that stayed with me. Um I remember running around with a scarf gun off my head in the second leg, jumping on people's shoulders. It was it was unreal. It was unreal. That first leg, uh, I'll ask you about that because you've, you've kind of touched on it. Tranmere probably should have won about 4-0, shouldn't they? They were that yeah. dominant and Forest Green had 10 men. And I remember the final whistle going and thinking, that's an opportunity missed there. That game, that tie could have been put to bed there. And I felt quite disappointed coming away, having won a playoff game 1-0. And I went down to interview Mickey and Mickey was like, we're one nil up. We're one nil up at half time. Yeah. This is a great position. We'd have dreamed of being in this position. So, did he? Did he have to lift you at all in the dressing room and remind you that you were ahead? Did you feel disappointed? It was only one nil. I don't think it. it, it was, I don't think it was disappointment because, like you said, you're one nil up. Um, you take a win at home. That's that's first and foremost clean sheet. But everyone knew that this tie can swing straight away if going to their place and. It did feel like you're going into the second leg like a nil-nil sort of game, and it was all to play for. Um, I think they celebrated it a little bit too much, if I remember. Uh, I think Mark Cooper was the manager, um, which was a bit odd. Uh, so it, it did it did play it down a little bit, really. But he, when you're thinking you should have been two, three, second leg put to bed, um, but then it made it all in all the best for the interest in it in the, in the second leg, only being one nil up. And we needn't have worried because um, I've said it before, it might have only, in inverted commas, been a 1-1 drawdown at their place, but it was one of the most complete performances I've ever seen from a Tranmere side. Even when you were 1-0 down, it never felt like you were going to get knocked no. out. No, from from front to back, uh, the boys coming off the bench, like you said, everyone was on, on their job um, in that game. And you could, you could feel it in the last 15, 20 minutes, every header, every pass. We didn't feel like um, oh well, I didn't feel like we was going to concede. I didn't feel under pressure. It was just I just thought we had eleven people fighting for the same thing, and like you said, everyone was on job. So you threw to Wembley, first Wembley final for you. Um, playing, yes. Uh, I was on the bench for Millwall in uh, League One playoff final. Um, but yeah, first time playing. So, what was the build-up like for for this one against Newport? Um, again, obviously, it's you 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 go down there early, you, you get a sense of the the pitch, the the hotel. It's obviously all this build-up, but I think I think with me, luckily, um, being being there as a player for Millwall and being there for a fan on a few occasions, I didn't feel a lot different. So like I, I always get nervous before games anyway, no matter whether I'm the level I'm at now or the highest that I've played. I always sort of felt the same nerve going into a game. Um and it wasn't no difference really for Wembley Wembley game. And like you said, it was just uh it was like the second leg really. I feel like it was such a solid performance bar the odd incident. Um but yeah that the, the nerves go straight away and it's more excitement and adrenaline. You must have had scores of family members there just down the road for them. Yeah, I had a lot of uh, a lot of London Tramway fans going to the game for that one. <laughs> um, I've got videos of my old man with Tramway scarves with all the uh, all the fans in the pub, and they was all loving it in being a South London boy. Um, yeah, that no, was just a brilliant day out. Brilliant day out. An energy sapping day. It was so hot, wasn't it? And there weren't that many clear cut chances for either side through the ninety minutes. Remember, oh. Norris had one. Scott makes a really good save down at his near post from Jamil Matt. Manny should possibly have given away a penalty. Uh, but generally speaking, the first 90 minutes, it, it was quite tight, wasn't it? And then then the gaffer calls for, for big Steve McNulty. Barely played a minute and he comes on. Tell us about his impact. Oh, it's just, it's, it's massive, really. So, like, like you said, I remember the day was so hot and um, 
yeah, I, I was blowing early doors. So it was it was a tough one uh, physically, um, especially playing against big Jamil Matt. He almost makes it a handful for yourself. Um, and then, yeah, when Big Macca comes on and you just feel that, you just you feel it straight away, like, right, you're solid here. You, and, and like I told you, when uh, in terms of training and going to him um, off the pitch, you just get a sense since it makes yourself feel bigger when he comes on because he's playing next year and he's always there going to be there to bow you out because that's the sort of player he was. And I think when he did come on, he just shored us right up. We were so solid at the back, every header, every clearance. Obviously, the fans shouting Steve every time he touches the ball. Like it go, It's noticeable, you know what I mean? And, and it, it makes you feel good. Can you remember your emotion when Connor heads home? Yeah. So, yeah, uh, I think I come off two minutes before um who did who come on for me adam buxton and he come on and he created it with uh jake capri so that was that was lucky really because i would have had the legs to do that um but yeah the emotion on the bench just the sense of relief um and you could just see when you look when i look to my left at the fans like the the again the sense of relief knowing that the club's back where it should be um after a few years disappointment and it was just it was just such a brilliant day what were the uh the celebrations like on the way home and uh, for the next week really i think you all went away didn't you very messy um i think yeah we obviously you go up to uh after wembley win or lose your family's in um in the club wembley bits you you go up there uh for a drink with your family i think by the time we got halfway up the motorway back up to the Wirral I think all the boys were um slightly beyond their self um and yeah like I said it was a messy night but it's one I can I can remember absolutely everything about because the the adrenaline and the um just the enjoyment and how happy everyone was it, it is something that would stay with me